Uju, Kinemagin in Ireland and Dijnikas, and welcome to this overview of our week nine learning plan and announcements. Today's episode will start with our stream page. We have the newest newsletter, which was sent home on Thursday. A couple things. We did have the fifth grade fry yays that took us to Bundy Hill. Today it was a very fun field trip. If you were absent and you haven't yet returned the permission slip for the next session, make sure you send it in. More information on that will come up in the next few weeks. On Wednesday, we will have a half day for staff PD. Students will be dismissed at noon and lunch will be served. And a very important one, picture day on Monday. Picture packets were sent home. If you have questions, please call the front office. I know that some students sometimes forget to give these packets to you. Uh, reach out if this is an issue. Just a reminder too that with the number of COVID cases and our inability of our students to be vaccinated, all SCA students and staff must be vaccinated at all times in the building. This also includes the bus. Makes It's always a good idea to send um, masks with your student. And I've noticed that the fabric ones tend to last longer for the kids. See more, more pertinent information and the what we are learning, you can always check out at your leisure. Looking back in our Google Classroom under classwork, you can see that there's a lot of things posted, but I wanted to bring you to what the student side looks like. And this is one of our students and I've received their permission. Under reading, you can see whether they accessed it or not. And now a lot of these could still be blue with your student as we do a lot of the work in class, but some students may choose to do the work there or access it for other. Writing City, I will demonstrate that momentarily from a student access. But what I wanted to show you was words their way. And I picked the student as I knew that they have completed all their tasks. So you click on it, and then it's going to load you in very slowly in this case. Words Their Way is our, uh, or our spelling curriculum. Gives them a chance to manipulate and do word sorts and hear it uh, instead of cutting up a lot of paper. So then it's gonna open up to this screen. You'll click take me there now, or you can wait 10 seconds. I choose an account and there's the account we're using. Jimmy Gwetch to Jaden for volunteering that. So what you can look is there's a chart here and it says, did they complete their work? And you can look at home and say, yep, it's completed hit the back arrow here. And if there was an assignment that was not started, it would show up here. If there's one that's in progress, it shows up in this tab. And then completed ones will show up there. During the week, it would be expected that the most recent sort should be in progress. Some students will do it in two days. Some will spread it out throughout the course of the entire week. I strongly encourage you to ask your student to log in. And remember, you can log into here through the Google Classroom, and it does not have to be on a Chromebook. I quite frequently will access my Google Classroom for my smartphone. Um, you could use a tablet, a regular laptop. All of those are options for you. Now, bouncing back to my page, and again, she may that student. 
let's look at writing city. Now I'm just picking a random day. All of these links are the same. So you go in, I'm going to sign as a student. And this is something you can also do with your student. And under the home page tab, you can see all of the incomplete assignments. Now, Mr. Ireland here has a little bit of work to do. Your student might be caught up completely. And by the middle of, by the middle of this week coming up, we should be through unit two, day 15. So this is something I encourage you to check out with them. Let them start showing you what they are learning and telling you about what they are learning. All right, so let's visit our learning plan for this week. In reading, it is a graded week. The red shadow is the story we'll be using. On Wednesday, there's a comprehension check. We check out a new edition of Scholastic. On Thursday and Friday, we're doing our Friday independent reading. Writing, you can see that we're doing day 14 and day 15. Uh, Wednesday, we'll do stamina writing. It means we just sit down and we write for 12 minutes and 45 seconds. We add about 15 seconds each time. One of the standards is that students can write for an increasing amount of time, and this will help prepare them for middle school. You'll see Thursday and Friday are makeup days. If a student is all the way complete, then you they may work on a free write or another topic that needs to be completed. And if you're wondering why there are multiple makeup days, Friday the 22nd is the final day of the first quarter. I know that's insane to think that way, that we're already a quarter of the way through the year, but this is week nine. I'm still not coming to grips with that, obviously. The year is just flying by. But we do want to have our students caught up through there so that we can give evaluate them and give you the most accurate information on the report card. In math, we're completing chapter three, which is on division and mostly on one digit divisors. We'll be reviewing on Tuesday. We'll be taking our chapter three assessment on Wednesday and we'll actually be beginning chapter four on Thursday and Friday. And that's two digit divisors. Science, we'll be looking at our web of life anchor connections. We'll be reviewing on Wednesday. On Thursday is the assessment. And on Friday is a makeup day, or they may be exploring one of our PHET simulations. Pretty cool website with different things they can do. Social studies, uh, it's a review week. I want to make sure that students have all of the information and that they are remembering the content, looking at our indigenous cultures on Monday, West Africa, and the Colombian Exchange on Tuesday. On Wednesday and Thursday, we'll be doing a case study in colonizers. And on Friday, any student that does not earn a three on one of the previous sections, will have one more chance to score a three. Math review, we're looking at a lot of review and a little bit of enrichment this session. Tech continues as normal, with Tuesday being a makeup day for 21 Things for Students. That's a pretty cool website. You may ask your student to check it out. So with this being the final week of the quarter, it's not a bad idea to check in with your students, make sure that they're all caught up. Um, I may be reaching out to some of you and I'll be checking in with students as the week goes on to help them kind of manage their time and energy on completing what needs to be done. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at mireland at sagchipschool.net. I hope you all have a minogijigat, minwa, bamapee.